base load generation is often slow ramping. An example of this is geothermal generation. This generation is location specific, sitting on top of geothermal fields. This leads to there being more than one slow ramping generator connected to the transmission system in the same area. When there is a planned outage in the area, it is unable to start until the generation reaches the lower megawatt levels required for the reduced transmission capacity. An SPD constraint will only apply from the start of the scheduled outage time, which is too late for slow ramping generation to get to the required level for the outage to start. In this example, to lower generation of this group by 20 megawatts will take nearly one hour. Ramp rates for the slow ramping generation can be as low as 8 megawatts per hour. To achieve the megawatts required for the outage, the system coordinator applies a discretionary constraint in the market to start dispatching down the slow ramping generation before the outage starts. The plant is ramp rate constrained and ramps down slowly, requiring dispatch every five minutes. The slow ramping generation reaches the required level of dispatch for the outage to start on time. Let's look at how applying discretion in this scenario may impact the market. The grid is unconstrained and the market is solved for optimal economic dispatch. G3 represents the slow ramping generation, reducing output due to the discretionary constraint. Because demand stays the same, the reduced G3 generation will be replaced by the next generation in the price stack. This replacement generation is more expensive, so the marginal price rises. Once the planned outage begins as scheduled, the market behaves as forecast in the forward schedules.